How you doing? This is Mr. Johnson again, and I'm doing a little mini podcast on the Crusades. There were all, there were about eight Crusades total, but there was a first, uh, the first three were the ones that had the biggest impact on uh, Middle Age or European history. The first Crusade actually happened uh, in 1096, between 1096 and 1099, it's kind of a, you know, with the Middle Ages, you have a gray area. But basically, individuals had uh, the idea, and there's an uh, uh, individual named Pope Urban II. At this point in time in history, the church had a lot of uh, political power. And you had knights fighting all around for land and honor and things like that. And it was, they were pretty much, you know, fighting each other a lot around Western Europe. And basically, you know, he needed to channel that energy. And he basically said that there were devil worshipers that uh, had reclaimed the city of Jerusalem. So that's when you had the big fight of the Muslims and the uh, Christians and also the Jews. Some of the things you need to be able to do, you see there, and like I said, I'll always tell you I'll upload this, and I will do that on the school website as well, so you can take a look at that. This is uh, the Crusades. <laughs> this is pretty much what they would have worn, if you notice, uh, the cross right here, and uh, this would be a monk, and this would be a crusader, and this would be somebody, in, uh, another clergyman, like the Pope or a Cardinal. Just give you an idea of what it looks like. All right. What were the Crusades? The Crusades were a series of Christian uh, holy wars in Europe against the Muslim population with the original purpose of rescuing the holy uh, places of Palestine and Saracen today. This later escalated into a season of Spain from the Moors, Slavs, the pagans of Eastern, of Eastern Europe. Now, the word pagan. Anything that is not Roman Catholic in Western Europe is called pagan. And uh, heresy is the actual uh, worshiping of anything that was not Christian at the time. And all those could be punishable by death or jail time. The main reason for the start of the Crusades revolves around the city of Jerusalem today. During the times of the Crusades, Muslims held control over Jerusalem. All right, which was a strong religious significance for uh, to the Christians. Now, uh, the reason why Jerusalem, Jerusalem was a hot spot in ancient times because those those three religions, Judaism, uh, dealing with Abraham and and things like that, and then the fact that you know Jesus walked in Jerusalem and lived in Jerusalem uh, for the Christians, and also for uh, the what they call the Dome of the Rock, was also in. For the Muslims, it was in Jerusalem. So you had those three intersecting. So, you know, usually you have a common place like that, a holy shrine. You know, they, they it's like um, fighting over, you know, a, a famous book or, or some kind of, you know, icon or things like uh, something like that. Now, this we will go over in class. This is just how the, uh, the crusade started. If you look, some of the first crusades... They had to walk. It took them almost, uh, I want to say, two and a half years to get from here to here. And what happened is they had to, uh, Richard the Lionhearted, which you remember that name, Richard the Lionhearted was also was the older brother of King John. And he actually, let me get this right. Okay. He, they actually had to, uh, Richard the Lionhearted took over uh, Acre. To get to Jerusalem. All right. Now, how is how is this religious persecution? Because basically, the Christians had blamed the Jews for uh, Jesus' crucifixion. Now, I know this sounds like a Bible history class, but this is just kind of the uh, the the beliefs behind the Crusades and why there were so many Crusaders in the in, in the First Crusade. Oh, actually the second too. But 
uh, the preaching of the First Crusade caused a massive outbreak in anti-Jewish violence. So Jews were being persecuted. Uh, this, and like I said, the Jews were actually persecuted twice because they were persecuted in this part in this time around 1096, 1099, and then also in World War, uh, World War II with Adolf Hitler. Uh, the Jews repeatedly, were repeatedly attacked by Christians until they either retreated or, or had perished. All right. Now, benefits of the crusade. Oh, let me go back. Benefits of the crusade. The benefits of the crusade is by the Christians taking over Jerusalem for a while, it opened up trade routes. So they pretty much paved the way for trade from the east all the way out to Western Europe, and it wasn't isolated anymore. Okay? And Christians were eventually admitted into Jerusalem. Now, after all these crusades and all this fighting, all this bloodshed, you know, basically the uh, uh, Saladin, who was a Muslim leader, and uh, I want to say Richard the Lionhearted, they sat down and they actually called a truce, and which is the basis of a, of a lot of religions is peace. So anyway, and it centralized Western Europe. It put Western Europe on the map as, hey, this is not an island. These people have things that we need as well. So it opened up a lot of a lot of trade. Now, one main downfall of the uh, open up those trade routes is. The bubonic plague, and we'll talk about the bubonic plague at, at a later date. Uh, but right, right, like I said, right now I try to do everything in a chronological order. So therefore, the, that was one of the largest uh, incidents. You had the start of the Middle Ages, then you had the Crusades, and then you had uh, open up the trade routes, and then the last thing you had was the spread of these, the bubonic plague. And now we'll do a separate YouTube uh, presentation on that. So if these are my, let me go right here. These are my citations. So I just want to kind of let you know that, you know, I'm not just making a lot of this stuff up. <laughs> I'm really not making this up. Uh, I, I have done my research to try to, you know, if there's any questions or anything, you can always uh, hit me up on Edmodo, like always. Uh, send me a private message. I usually get it on my phone, on my tablet. And um, actually, we... I do have a little visual for you to watch as far as the Crusades. Uh, we'll watch that in class. Now, uh, if you could, like I said, just think about some of the things, how they're, how they're all related. If I can take it and make it like a long, drawn-out story, then it usually kind of makes sense. Okay? So the next things we'll talk about will be the effects of the Crusades like later on. All right. Thank you for your time. And you have a wonderful day.